Welcome everyone, myself Dr. Deepala Gupta, Assistant Professor, Department of Chemistry, School of Science, UP Rashi Tandon, Open University, Prayagraj. In the last lectures, we talk about Unit 1, Structure and Bonding of Course Code UGCHE 102 and Course Structure Organic Chemistry 1, Basic Organic Chemistry. Today we will be starting with Unit 2 Mechanism of Organic Reactions and Reaction Intermediate. This unit is divided into three modules. In module 1 we will discuss curved arrow notation, drawing electron movements with arrows, half headed and double headed arrows, homolytic and heterolytic bond breaking types of reagents like electrophiles and nucleophiles. In the module 2, we will discuss types of organic reactions like substitution reactions, addition reactions, elimination reactions and rearrangement reactions. In module 3, we will discuss energy consideration and reactive intermediates like carbocations, carboanions, free radicals, arenes, carbenes and nitrates. Now we will be starting with module 1, introduction. Variety of organic compounds are in great demand and synthesized in large quantity in industry. Optimization of products yield economically requires very detailed knowledge of the chemical reaction used. This helps in selection of reaction conditions, maximize product yields and minimize byproduct formation. A molecule may be converted into another by a chemical reaction. The new molecule that is product has an arrangement of atom different from the starting molecule. This change is accompanied by redistribution of electrons. In most of the organic reaction, transformation of reactants to product takes place through some definite step. Hence, it is essential to know the mechanism of reaction. Now, reaction mechanism. The reactant molecule which is attacked is called substrate and it is represented by S and the reactant molecule which attacks is called reagent and represented by R. The molecule formed by the interaction of substrate and reagent is called product and it is represented by P. This reaction is represented by this type. This reaction simply represents the transformation of substrate into products but it is essential to know how it the reaction is taking place actually an organic reaction mechanism is a detailed description of these steps it not only tells us the number of steps involved in the reaction but also gives us information about sequential account of the each step, redistribution of the electrons, bond being broken and made, intermediate forms. The study of reaction mechanism is important to know the reactivity of the reactant, optimum reaction conditions and classification of reaction into four classes. Now, Curved arrow notation. The curved arrow notation, the curved arrow represents the movement of electrons in a molecule. It is commonly used to show the direction of electron flow in a reaction and resonance structure. The tail of the arrow starts where the electron pair begins and the head of the arrow points to the location or destination of 
where the electrons are being moved to electron curves arrow are important for the understanding resonance how radicals are created and electron movement in a reaction let us consider the reaction this type here water molecule react with hcl and gives hydronium ion and chloride ion the mechanism of this reaction is given as this type and in this reaction the water molecule uses one of the electron pair to form a bond with proton of hcl the bond between hydrogen and chlorine breaks with electron pair going to the chlorine atom forming chloride ions in the above example the migration of a pair of electrons is drawn by a curved arrow the tail of the arrow indicates the place where the shared pair of electron migrates the tail of the arrow indicates the place where the shared pair of electron migrates and the arrow head shows the place where the pair of electron is transferred next drawing electron movements with arrow organic chemists use two types of arrows within molecular structures to describe electron movements for single electrons movement are designated with single headed arrows whereas double headed arrows shows movement of electron pairs so chemists use a slight variation of curved arrow notation to show the movement of electrons the most common use of curly arrows is to show the movement of pairs of electrons you can also use similar arrows to show the movement of single electrons except the head of these arrow only have a single line rather than two lines arrow tail is where the electron pair or single electron starts from the arrow head is where you want the electron pair or single electron to end up here full headed arrow show the movement of an electron pair and half headed show the movement of a single electron the difference in these two notations is illustrated below for heterolytic versus homolytic fragmentation of bromine molecule and this reaction shows heterolytic fragmentation and in this reaction electrons in the bonding pair move together and forming positively and negatively charged species and in this reaction electrons in the bonding pair moves independently and forms bromine free radical and this shows homolytic fragmentation half headed and double headed arrows to illustrate the movement of a single electron use a half headed curved arrow called fish hook arrow the half headed arrow is used to explain a homolytic cleavage of a covalent bond and homolytic bond cleavage results in unpaired electrons or free radicals this reaction shows homolytic fragmentation and in this reaction electrons in the bonding pair move independently and form bromine free radical here the double headed arrow is represented as this type and it is indi indicated that the structure separated by double headed arrow are resonance structure and their structure 1 and 2 shows resonance structure and it is represented by double headed arrows and structure 3 shows hybrid structure of benzene now 
homolytic and heterolytic bond breaking. Breaking of bond, a covalent bond joining atoms in an organic molecule consists of a group of two electrons. Such a group is referred to as electron pair. Reactions in organic chemistry proceed through the sequential breaking and formation of such bond. On the basis of this, there are two processes for the breaking of a chemical bond, homolytic bond cleavage and heterolytic bond cleavage. Homolytic bond cleavage. Homolytic bond cleavage is a process where the electron pair comprising a bond is a split causing the bond to break and this is denoted by two single headed curved arrows pointing away from the bond. The consequence of this process is the retention of a single unpaired electron on each of the atoms that were formerly joined by a bond. These single electron species are known as free radicals and this reaction shows homolytic fragmentation and in this reaction electrons in the bonding pair move independently and forming bromine free radical. Next, heterolytic bond cleavage. Heterolytic bond cleavage is a process where the electron pair that comprised a bond moves to one of the atom that was formerly joined by a bond. The bond breaks forming a negatively charged species and positively charged species. The anion is the species that retains the electrons from the bond while the cations is stripped of the electrons from the bond. Thus a full headed curved arrow show the movement of an electron pair and this reaction shows heterolytic fragmentation and in this reaction electrons in the bonding pair move together and forming positive and negative charged species. Now types of reagents. The chemical substance with which an organic compound reacts are known as reagents and it is sometimes drawn on the left side of the equation and with the other reactants at the other times the reagent is drawn above the arrow. In this example, bromine is the reagent and the reagent can be on the left side of the arrow and here the bromine is on the above the arrow. Now there are two types of reagents, electrophilic reagents or electrophiles. Electro means electron and philic means uh, loving. So, electrophilic means electron living. The electrophilic reagents or electrophiles are those species which possess an affinity for electrons and these reagents possess a deficiency of electrons and therefore in chemical reactions they attack on those centers which are rich in electrons. Thus electrophilic reagents possess an electron deficient atoms or center. This is why they have a list of electrons and attacks at electron rich centers. Electrophilic reagents are of two types positively charged electrophiles and neutral electrophiles. 
first positively charged electrophiles positively charged ions and carbocations possess a deficiency of electrons and therefore act as electrophiles here hydrogen ion bromine ion hydronium ion nitrite ion nitrosium ion chlorine ion and primary carbocation disonium ions and secondary carbocations and tertiary carbocations act as positively charged electrophiles now neutral electrophiles some neutral species which possess a deficiency of electrons act as nuclear neutral electrophiles example species like boron trifluoride and aluminum trichloride in which the central atom has only 6 electrons and free radicals like methyl free radicals here carbon has seven electrons and carbenes like methylene carbene and dichlorocarbene in both the cases carbon has six electrons and nitrines also have six electrons thus both positively charged and neutral electrophiles are short of a pair of electrons except free radical which are short of one electrons only this is why they have a strong tendency to attack at electron rich centers and behave as lewis acids they always attack the substrate molecule at the site of highest electron density thus the electrophilic nature of a smaller cations is greater than that of the larger cations belonging to the same group next nucleophilic reagents or nucleophiles nucleo means nucleus and philic means loving so nucleophilic means nucleus loving the nucleophilic reagents or nucleophiles are those species which possess an affinity for the positive charge the nucleophiles are electron rich species and possess at least one lone pair of electrons therefore in chemical reactions they attack at those center which are deficient in electrons nucleophilic reagents are of two types first negatively charged nucleophiles and the species having an available electron pair and a negative charge act as negatively charged nucleophiles here hydroxyl ion alkoxy ion cyanide ion hydrogen anion chloride ion bromide ion iodide ion and primary carbon ion secondary carbon ion tertiary carbon ion acetate ions etc act as negatively charged nucleophile these species possess an available electron pair along with a negative charge next neutral electrophiles in some neutral molecules such as water alcohols ethers ammonia and amines these shows neutral electrophiles and the heteroatom possesses one or more lone pair of electrons such molecules are able to donate a lone pair of electrons to an electron deficient center and therefore act as nucleophiles thus both negatively charged and neutral electrophiles possess lone pair of electrons and can donate it to an electron deficient species therefore in chemical reactions they behave as lewis bases and attach the substrate molecule at the site of lowest electron density thank you